So when it comes to subqueries, we've used the in and the not in operator. So outer query select whatever we want to select from table where and then a value is in a range that's created by a subquery or not in a range created by a subquery. Now there are a couple of other operators we can use there beyond just in and not in or in and not. Um, and that is the any and the all operators. So we produce if the any and all we use with subqueries that produce a range of numbers. So let me give you an example here. Let's let's start by doing this. I want to create a list of the population of every country in Melanesia. So it'll be pretty easy. We're going to select, and I want the name and the population from country where the region equals Melanesia. And let's, I'm going to go ahead and order that by real quick just because it's going to look better. Order by population in descending order. Okay, that makes me feel better. So Papua New Guinea has, what, 4.8 million people. Uh, the Fiji Islands have about 800,000. The Solomon Islands about 400 and on down to Vanuatu, which has 190,000. Okay, fine. Let's say I want to know the population of every city in the world that is greater than any country in Melanesia. So here's how I would do that. Let me do a new query. I'm this to select name and population from city where the population is greater than all and I'm going to create a subquery I'm just going to copy this over because I'm going to be lazy and you don't need me to retype it I'm going to skip the order by because I don't need that so I'll paste that right here and I'll tab these over and so this is what we've got there we go uh, where the population is greater than any value in this range and the range is going to be select name and population from country. I actually don't need name here. That's going to screw me up. So I'm just going to take that down to population. Where the population is greater than the population of any or all countries in Melanesia. And so basically what it's going to do is this is going to create this minus the name. And then we're going to look for any city this population is greater than any or all of these values. So we run the query and it gives us 24 rows returned. I'm going to go ahead and order by population in descending order. And we'll see Mumbai and all the way down to Lahore, which has a population of just over 5 million, which works because it's over that 4.8 million. So this is every single city that has a population greater than all countries in Melanesia. Now, the other thing we can do is we can change, and we come back here, change this all to an any. And what it's going to look for is a population that is greater than any value here. It doesn't matter, right? It can be greater than Vanuatu, and it'll show up because it's greater than any and related to that same subquery. So when I execute this one, I get a 1,000 rows returned. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, we'll see we have the last one here. Pelotas is, what, 315,000, and there would be more because we're set to only return right here, limit to 1,000 rows. So there would be more, but we see that 315,000 is greater than either New Caledonia or Vanuatu. Therefore, it's greater than any, so it shows up in the results. And if we ran that beyond this 1,000 row limit that it's returning for us, we could um, in fact, if I wanted to change that, I just click the drop down and this is where I change that. I would see everything go down to a city that has 190,001 people would show up in 
this query because it's greater than the population of Vanuatu at 190,000. So we've used in and not in with our subqueries. Now we can also use any and all if we're looking to do a uh, query based on a set of numbers generated by our subquery.